primary colors are colors that cannot be made by mixing other colors together. Vincent van Gogh was convinced you only need three basic colors to create any existing color. In this video, we'll show you how to mix these colors to create any color you want. We'll also discuss how to create different shades of the same color by adding black and white. Lastly, we'll tell you more about creating contrast in your painting. Mixing primary, secondary, and tertiary colors. To show you the principles of color mixing, we're using the primary colors quinacridone rose, permanent lemon yellow, and phthalo blue. By mixing two primary colors, you can create secondary colors. Start by mixing quinacridone rose and permanent lemon yellow to create the secondary color orange. Then mix permanent lemon yellow with phthalo blue for green and phthalo blue with quinacridone rose to create purple. With these newly mixed secondary colors, you can of course create a traditional color circle by mixing the primary colors with the secondary colors, creating the shades in between. But did you know that you don't have to limit yourself to just those different shades of blues, greens, reds, oranges, and yellows? To create deeper colors to use in your paintings, you can mix the secondary colors with each other instead of with the primary colors. These new colors all have one mixing color in common, which gives them more interesting effects. Mix green with orange. Since both of these colors contain permanent lemon yellow, this newly mixed color turns out more yellow, as well to create a yellowish brown. Green and purple are both created using phthalo blue, which makes the newly mixed purple a bit more on the gray side. Purple and orange are both created using guanacridone rose, so the newly mixed color is a reddish brown. You can keep mixing the different colors you've developed together to create a virtually endless range of colors. Experiment with the amounts of paint you use to influence the final color. Creating shades with black and white. With the addition of black and white, you can create even more shades. Using black and white, you can create a wide range of gray shades. By mixing the primary colors together, you can create a color that is very close to black. But since this color is made using actual colors, it will appear much more vibrant in your paintings than regular black paint. To brighten up or tone down your mixed colors, you can mix them with white or black. White makes the color brighter, while black tones down the color. By mixing quinacridone rose with white, you create various pink shades. Mixing it with black results in different deep red shades. Permanent lemon yellow can be made softer using white. Adding black results in an olive-like shade. Adding white to phthalo blue results in a vivid light blue, while mixing it with black deepens the blue. Try adding black and white to your own mixed colors to see what interesting shades lie hidden in them. Using complementary colors. Colors that are opposite on the color wheel are called complementary colors. Blue complements orange, yellow complements purple, and red complements green. These colors create the strongest contrast. When you use them next to each other in a painting, you can see that both colors will appear stronger. We hope this video helps you mix your own custom colors. Experiment and find out which colors work best for you. Have fun painting! And remember, what's true for painting also counts for mixing colors. Practice makes perfect.